All right. Here's what you got to think. You got to think. 1.3 million people a year, roughly, get killed in car accidents, auto accidents worldwide. And uh, I heard statistics up to date this morning, maybe yesterday, that 1.3 to 1.4 million people have died from COVID and COVID-related illnesses, all right? Everybody's fully aware of how I feel about the COVID. Let's just say it's true, though. Every single one of those cases is absolutely true, and they didn't get $40,000 for touching the bodies extra. That's why, you know, guys in motorcycle crashes died of COVID. Okay, let's just pretend like that's not true. And 1.3 million people legit died from COVID, okay? All right. You can do the numbers on 8 billion people. But uh, if it was really such a huge deal, all right, and that they're making it out to be, that they have rushed through vaccinations and the first two years of the vaccinations are going to be trial runs for everyone. So in other words, you're the guinea pig. You're the, it's the beta test is on you. All right. And they rush this out and the sheep go out and get it. But if it was really, if they did really care about 1.3 million deaths and all the deaths that will occur in the future for, because that's what they'll say. Well, it's not just the 1.3 with the COVID, it's, it's future deaths. And it's like, okay, okay. Well, I believe that too. But you never did look and say, well, hey, the cars are going to continue to keep killing people. And the more people there are, the more cars will kill, you know, kill you. There's a chance, right? But they're, they don't, no, they're not saying, oh, God, no, no cars, no more. That's it. We, we have to do something and it has to be done within the next two weeks. I mean, there's just, we cannot have. We care for humanity so much that all these car wrecks is unnecessary. Something has to be done. Come on, man. And lung cancer kills way more people than that. And you never hear a peep because they're selling you these cars and these cigarettes and these vaccinations. I mean, the vax is nothing more than a, a, you know, a product from Pfizer or whoever that they're getting to make them. I even looked into all that, you know, and they say you have to have two vaxes in order for it to work. But uh, there's four or five different types of vaxes. So, okay, what does that mean? That if we take one and we, then we take the other one and, and it amalgamates in our system and, oh, yeah, oh, boy. You can be the guinea pig on that if you guys want, but I guarantee you, I'm not getting jabbed. So, you know, there's always that and what that entails what that means for my future and your future to say, no, I'm not taking it. I'm going to stand strong. And then you can't buy food for your family anymore. And you can't do this. And if you don't grow it yourself, you know, hey, it starts off easy. You can't do this. You can't do that. You know, and it ends up that you cannot feed your families. Okay. Because they've got us so dependent on the systems that they've built in place on our backs that, and we fell asleep. Let's just be honest. Nobody listened to the guys screaming in the, you know, Nobody listen to anybody like that. But anyway, that was just a quick one, guys. Just a quick one for to put some perspective on this, okay? For those that don't think like that. Well, that's why I'm around, because I do think like that. And the same number of people got killed last year in car accidents as they claim that got killed by COVID. And they didn't do anything. Not They didn't even say anything about the car accidents. But it's the same number. All right? So anyway, just a quick one. Let's get it together.